Well, okay, folks, we've uh, taken the ski uh, through the filing of the base edges and the side edges, and then we took it through a progression of stones, starting from a coarse 100, then we went to a 200 stone, then we went to a 400 stone, then we went to a 600 stone, and then we went to a 1500 stone. So, and uh, once that was done, uh, well, this is what you get. And so, if you, re if you don't remember the first video, go back and compare what you're going to see now to the very first video. Okay, these are the edges on the skis now. And I'm just going to kind of run down there. If you're looking for a reflection, a nice, steady, even reflection. I'm hoping the thing is going to focus on the ski more than it's going to focus on the table which this is an autofocus camera so it's a little bit of a hard time doing some of this stuff I can't manually focus it so anyway we've got a nice edge now on the ski focus again see see that nice polish see how that reflection moves real perfectly and you don't see any warblies or or bumps in that reflection really really nice okay so now the last thing that you do once you've got all that stone and done and edges set they're all polished you take what you call a gummy stone which is just a little abrasive like eraser kind of thing you know, it's kind of a rubbery impregnated with a little bit of a abrasive material and at any rate it's very not too abrasive but anyway, I'm changing camera in my hands. So you take that stone, and all my finished work, uh, finally finished uh, the work, was uh, was here on the base edge. So that means most of the uh, micro burn, trust me, we're getting really technical now, uh, is going to be hanging off the side of the ski. So this is the one time you can take something like a, di uh, a, a, a gummy stone, and you just freehand. You just take it on, on, on the edge, and you just barely touch it. You run it down the edge just on a slight angle on the side edge once here. Now you're just barely pre you're barely pressing and not almost not pressing at all here, okay? All you're doing is taking off little microscopic hairs. So now we're gonna hold it just at a teeny bit of an angle toward the base edge, and we're just gonna run it down one time. Okay. We're going to do that on each edge. I'm going to take it back this way. You see I'm holding this. Uh, okay, let's say the angle of the ski was actually this way. I'm just going to hold it just a teeny bit this way because that burr is just right on the edge. You can just take it on a 45 and rub it once too, but I prefer to do it twice down each edge at that slight angle. And there you go. Uh, once you've done that, that's uh, now we're we're ready to do the waxing now, and get started with the base preparation. Like I told you, first we're gonna we're gonna lay down some soft uh, yellow wax. We're gonna cook that into the ski. Then we're gonna scrape it and brush it. Then we're gonna move on to a pink wax. Then we're gonna scrape it and brush it. Then we're gonna move on to a blue wax. Now, for you guys that ski where it's five degrees all the time, you're going to have to move on to the next harder wax than that, uh, which most manufacturers is generally a white uh, color wax, uh, clear wax. But anyway, uh, that's the situation. When you're waxing, don't use a home iron, okay? They don't regulate heat well, okay? For, for a ski, you need an iron that you see the sole plate or the metal part of this iron is a tremendous amount of material and we can also refer to that as a heat sink once this uh, uh, humongous uh, plate warms up to a certain temperature you touch it on something and it doesn't just suddenly cool down also the uh, a good quality ski iron it, it, it is going to regulate the temperature much better and, uh, and you don't want to overheat your waxes you do not want to overheat your bases I really like this toco iron it's got the little grooves in there which yeah, they're, they're kind of a pain to clean out occasionally. It's not that big of a deal. You just wipe it while it's warm with your uh, Swix Fiberlene or, or some uh, lint-free wiper. And 
uh, but at any rate these these grooves help to distribute the wax down the ski as you uh, iron it down on there and just kind of help to spread it out and again you, I use a minimal temperature and then go into the zoom box zoom zoom box okay you guys happy tuning to you if you've watched all this video videos this is this is eight the eighth part and that's all folks thanks for watching oh wait here's the other one up on the shelf okay so look at the reflections there okay remember when we started okay now look at that look at those reflections now this Dennis Stark exclusive idol will ski like they said it would as a matter of fact might even ski better. Okay, ciao for now, folks.